Things were different then. You had a job to go to. Well, I could always get another job. No, Lydia's right. It's not like booking a holiday, you know. You can't just rock up abroad with a bag full of tools. No, there's visas and permits. And language barrier. Uh, well, that's why we've drawn up a shortlist of all the places where you can get visas under 30 and ones where you can speak English. Oh, right, and they are? Well, there's Monaco. Monaco? What are you going to do there? Clear the racetrack? <laughs> anyway, they speak Spanish, though. French. French. Yeah, well, there'll be plenty of people there that speak English. And then there's Canada. Yeah, New Zealand, Australia. Oh, well, hey, don't stop there. Mercury's warm this time of year, I believe. All this research you've been doing, you know, isn't there something you've overlooked? Getting a visa? It's not that easy when you're under 18. Or if you've got a criminal record. They can't be that hard to get a visa. It's not what these websites are saying. Sorry, love. I hate having to burst your bubble. Still, onwards and upwards, eh? Hey. Don't sound too smug about it. This isn't me smug, this is me hurting. Yeah, obviously. For you! I don't want anyone rejecting my son. Am I relieved? Yeah, I am. What mother wouldn't be? Babe, come on, you're doing amazing here, and I could not be more proud. My boy, an electrician. Apprentice. Yeah, but a year or so, and you'll be qualified, won't you? And then who knows what connections you'll make? Oh, that was like a little sparky joke. <laughs> but there's always the backup plan, Noah. You're moving closer. What a great little idea! A, a flat in Hotton. That'd suit you down to the ground. Oh, no, we're thinking somewhere more like Cornwall. Cornwall? That's as bad as abroad. Well, so much for not wanting to burst our bubble, Lydia. Oh, for goodness sake, it's like a five, six hour drive. They haven't even got a motorway. So? Well, it's a great place to bring up a kid. So why do you need to go all the way down there when you've got a job here with Marcus? I'll do anything. Oh, great, so you're going to throw all this away, are you? Having a child, it's overwhelming. There might come a time when you... you need our support. Yes, and we know all this. We've got our phones. What use is a call when the little one's teething? Or when you're struggling to make friends? Or when you're missing everything that you've ever known? Look, just don't do anything rash. Pasties and surfing might be lovely, but they're no substitute for family. Amelia. Oh, great, just what we need. Fog on, leg on. We talked some sense into them. We were trying. So please don't try and spoil anything. Hey, I only want what's best for you. No, you don't. You want to control me. And after sabotaging that job, that was just petty. Petty and spiteful. Look, when you love someone, sometimes you just got to play dirty. So much for apologising yesterday, then. You're not even sorry, are you? Yeah, of course I am. I'm, I'm sorry that I hurt you. Mm, but not for what you did. Well, now you can all see why we don't want to be here anymore, because of lying hypocrites like her. I mean, you've never put a foot wrong, have you? Hey, all I ever do is look out for you. <sighs> nice one. Just when we were finally getting somewhere. Girl, what I did, the way I acted. Well, do you really think that's why I called you to hear your excuses again? Amelia, straight up. All right, what's going on? And what are you doing here? Right, we've made a decision about where we want to live. And? We're not some dumb kids. Whatever you think, we know we can make a real go of it. Yeah, somewhere new, somewhere exciting. Please don't do this. I hope you're happy. So that's it then? You settled on Cornwall? Cornwall? Well, just be grateful it's not New Zealand. Like I said, we could make a real go of it. But we're not. We're staying in the village. Flaming hell, you almost gave me an heart attack, eh? Please, don't ever do that to me again. Listen, love... Stop apologising, OK? If you're really sorry for what you did... I am, I swear. Then you need to really start showing it. I will do. I promise. And when you're back home... Home? I am home. Do you really think we were going to come and move in with you after what you did? No way off that. Well, I, I don't... Uh... Th then we're... Somewhere where we wanted, Dad. And right now, that's here with charity. <laughs>